is the first step on the road to a cabinet. And of course, every arcade cabinet needs a joystick. And what better joystick than the X Arcade? Now, this just came today, FedEx. And this is the si actual size of the box. It's huge. Um, which makes me nervous. Um, I didn't order the tank stick, I ordered the dual stick because I don't really play that many trackball games, and the couple I do play, actually, I can play with the joystick. So, let's flip this open, and let's see what's, here's what's inside the box. The X-Arcade dual joystick. Now, for a bar top, you know, you would think to use one, but I have friends that come over for the fighting games. It flips open like so. Like so. This box is built sturdily. I mean, getting it out of this box is a pain in the ass. Alright. Got your joystick. Smell the actual wood in here. Like that fresh wood smell. That's your buttons here. Just bring your fill to it, your player one and two. Your second player joystick. It feels res very responsive. Alright. That's basically the joystick there. Let's take this out of the box. So you can right, see of course the inside of the box after the unit's gone. And uh has your um your your game controller to game controller. I'm guessing this is an extension cord, and of course the USB cord because I have USB. And you have here, your, that's why they have the extension cord. This is your keyboard controller and your your extension because the reason for that is it can, it considers it's a PC controller. It basically it takes up your laptop, or I should say, yeah, your keyboard. I'm sorry, being confused and all this, but you see, this is a male, and this is a female. So for USB, you have to hook both of these up to this, and you have your USB support. Now there's different modes on it, which you can program with this button back here. Mode one. Two, three, and four. But no one. That's just if you want to make your own adjustments. But normal mode is this one. And for MAME, you can program to whatever you want. Now, one interesting thing that I noticed. You can tell these are handmade because see the rubber foot's missing off of that. And it's in the box, but it won't come back on. But I'm hoping I should kind of go along with it. <laughs> um, what I want to now. That's the joystick right there. Power indicator, I'm guessing. Now, what also comes in the box, of course, this thick ass instruction manual. And it also has a disc inside with uh, six midway games. So, pretty cool. And this manual is not as thick as people claim it is, but it's pretty much in depth, and you might want to take a look at it before you do it. But, um, I'm gonna my laptop to it and of course here's the X arcade and of course there's the computer the laptop running MAME now it seems I was a little mistaken after reading the booklet and um, actually could connect either or so I really don't know what the hell this is for but I know about this so basically what you do is you take this USB, you basically screw it in here and it's a little bit of a tight fit. Like it doesn't look, um, it's in but it doesn't look that way. Um, plug it in just like a regular USB port. I didn't put it in there, I didn't make sure I know what I'm doing. So, But it would say X Arcade, human interface device, keyboard, blah, 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 blah. So now that that's in. And we got the indicator light saying it's on. You can see by the reflection it's shining. 
We're going to go to WrestleFest. Start game. Press this button. And now, of course, for the credits, we have Pinball Bumper. And it's that way. Player 2. Always put a lot of credits in here, especially when you're talking about the Legion of Doom. Now, of course, I have this mapped out already. But to map it out, you would just go to main like you, and just configure it like you would your regular joystick or whatever. Just press whatever you want. Press player one. And oh, I'm supposed to pick a partner. Duh. Where stick is working, as you can see. It's a button mashing game, so I could just play one handed a little bit. Look how skillful I am in WrestleFest. Look at that. And I could hit the finisher with one hand. Boom! Even though I can't get a pinfall. From the sleep. And just with one hand, I won the match. And these are the default settings. So, well, except for that. But I think I have to set it for five matches. But we know the X Arcade is working. And you could hear the, you could hurt by the click of the joystick. And see, this is the thing when you have the X Arcade installed. Look what you can do. You can actually select your game with the joystick. Because I, I think that um, X Arcade support is actually built in the main right now. And it's 135, but the one it's because it's an older laptop. But when the cabinet's built, they'll have 143, which is the latest one. Put it back to read the information. And back again. Now, the reason it gets stuck a little bit, and you know, because I've noticed it gets stuck, I'm guessing it's because um, with each pull, it detects, because it emulates a keyboard, so it detects, you know. So when you're holding it like this, it's going to keep moving because you press the button a few times. And of course, with Windows, that's it's, it's more of an era of Windows and not the X Arcade. So let's go and take a look at the overview. The magic of it. Seeing what the X Arcade can do, as we tested on the laptop, it is well working. Um, but the big question: Is it worth a hundred and forty dollars shipped? Absolutely. Now, there may be some problems sometimes, and I'm hoping to see if I can avoid that. I'm guessing I had the problem with it. I had a problem with it disconnecting on me um, sometimes, but I'm guessing that was the way I had the laptop positioned, and hopefully when I, we build this cabinet, we won't have that problem. But the con I played a little bit af you know before I did that part, and after, the controls are very solid. The only time sometimes they'll stick a little bit when you're playing um, Pac-Man, but... I'm, you know, I learned, and it was, of course, um, my girlfriend pointed out to me, um, girl and a friend, you know, pretty much, um, that all you had to do was lightly tilt the joystick where you want it to go. And 
I'm like a madman when it comes to this damn thing. So when you're playing Pac-Man, just be easy on the joystick. You should be fine. It shouldn't stick. But this is definitely high quality. And see all the reviews on there? Yeah, I think they're, uh, they're actually right on this. This is definitely an investment, especially if you want to build an arcade cabinet. Now, for those of you who want to build a cabinet and wire everything yourself, you can actually remove the parts. Everything here is user serviceable. You can unscrew the bottom. You can take all the parts out and transplant them if you so wish. Um, and it's good because it's done for you. You don't have to worry about that all too much. So if you... so. If you want to put it in a cabinet with buttons already um, drilled in, you can do that. Um, if you want to, say, swap these joysticks out for ball joysticks, you can do that too. You want to get different colored buttons, add LEDs to make them light up, you can do that as well. I've seen it done, and it looks fantastic. Um, if you want to start out and don't want to have to worry about wiring, this is perfect for you. Now... Now we got the joystick all set up, and we know it's working, and our investment's well worth it. It's time to move on to the computer. So let's get that out of the box. Let's get that set up.